Hey guys, welcome back to Jen's Primitive Gems. And today I have a dresser video for you. Let's start off with a few before and after pictures. So here's the before of this antique vanity. And here is the after. I painted it in midnight blue with silver hardware. Here is a dresser that I did for a girl who was expecting a baby. And she told me the dimensions of the dresser that she needed and I found it and painted it how she wanted. This one belonged to my babies in their baby room. And these ones were for a customer whose daughter was in my kindergarten class. And so she asked specifically for these colors and I blended the three colors together and these were for her other daughter. I had gone up to Ottawa and found this dresser, was lucky enough to get the crystal knobs and did a nightstand to match. And here is just a picture of a dresser that I did before and after. I put some decoupage on this one. And here is my little coffee bar that I'm using in my house. And just a dresser with a mirror. And I've added a few vanities to this video as well. And this was one of my favorite pieces. I loved that dresser. It's just one of those pieces that it's hard to sell Sometimes I really want to keep them, but just don't have the space. And here's one where I just left some of the wood showing. Gorgeous detail on this one. Again, left some of the wood showing on this one. And this one, I sanded the top and did a light stain. And here's a distressed look. Absolutely love this one. This was one of my favorites. I love the two little butterfly knobs on the middle drawer. I found them at a specialty store in Smith Falls. So cute. And this one as well. This one was fun. It was a really pale pink color. It was fun to do. And this one, the color is called Very Navy. I sanded the top down to the original wood and put a dark stain, I think a walnut stain on that one. And some nightstands. Here is a large dresser that I found on the side of the road for free. And then I got these nightstands for free as well. And here is a little dresser that I did in a fun green, a vintage green. And the next vanity is also one of my favorites that I did in Ash. And this set was from a customer that sent me a picture of what she wanted. Another vanity. I got the knobs for this one at Winners. Sometimes you can get some fancy knobs there for uh, relatively inexpensive. I love this old dresser. I sanded this one down to the original finish and um, I put a light stain on it and a whitewash and did the um, hardware silver. Here is a vintage dresser with the mirror and original hardware. I believe the color is soapstone. And in my Hutch video, you'll find I did a wardrobe in this blue. Now this was the set that was given to me 
by a lady, um, a friend of mine, and this table as well. And a lady purchased it who had a cottage out um, by Elgin. And this is such a cool story. So I went to deliver the furniture to her and I went to the wrong cottage. And lo and behold, it is a band member from my very favorite band in the world, The Tragically Hip. So Paul Langwa. And I kind of was stunned and I looked at him and I said, are you Paul Langwa? What are the odds I'm going to deliver furniture to someone and I go to the wrong cottage and it's him? Like, absolutely insane. So I had his wife take a picture of us together. Here is a dresser and nightstand set that I did in soapstone. And another really cool looking vanity. And a distressed, highly distressed dresser. And here is a dresser with a mirror in a fun pink. Here is a dark purple. And here is a real rustic looking dresser. I put new hardware on this one. I love this one. My um, father-in-law actually bought this one. And here is another very large dresser. And a turquoise with a mirror. And a burgundy dresser. Next up is a before and after of an antique dresser that I did. There's the before and the after. And another distressed dresser. And a smaller dresser. And here's a before and after. That one was in really rough shape. And another before and after. There's a before. And there's the after. And yet another before and after. There's a before. Now this was um, what a woman asked me for. She sent me a picture of what she wanted. And another before and after. Sometimes I'm given furniture and I really make m decent money off of it. And that's why I can sell my stuff for as little as I do sometimes. Here's that soapstone color again by Fusion. And this color is called Homestead. Again, it's a Fusion paint color. Beautiful blue, I love that one. And another before and after. This is a before shot of the dresser and vanity. As you can tell, I have my certain favorite colors. This one is uh, Midnight Blue again. And here is a before and after of this nightstand. Sometimes I'm just so excited to start a project that I just forget to take the before shot. So I end up having to use the picture of <laughs> that the other person posted when they're selling it. So anyway, so here is the after shot of that vanity just love how this one turned out. Here's a dresser without hardware. <clears throat> Seldom I do that. I usually add the hardware if they if it doesn't have it. And here are a few more 
dressers, tall boys. There's another tall boy. I did pink on the top of that one. This one my cousin bought. It's ash with black underneath. And this one I think is Little Lamb, this color. As you can tell, I definitely have my favorites. And one last tall boy here. And I just wanted to end off by showing you my, the uh, dresser that I turned into a vanity um, that's in my bathroom. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video where I will show you my some of my desks and some more vanities.